My name is uh, Yanbing Li. I'm a senior vice president and general manager at VMware. I lead what we call the storage and the availability business unit here. So in the beginning of 2014, uh, I was making a career transition, moving from China back to Palo Alto, our headquarters. Our head of talent development in uh, HR suggested that I consider SEP to open up my horizon, expand my thinking about what's possible out there, you know, build new networks. I went into SEP trying to expand my understanding of business leadership. You know, I've been in a technical leadership role for many, many years. So I was very interested in thinking about how do I expand my horizon from technology to business leadership. Within a year coming back from SEP, I was given the opportunity to change from a VP of engineering role to a GM role, essentially leading um, up and coming business uh, that we have in storage. Reflecting on what I learned in SCP, one thing that really opened my eyes was there's just so much beyond technology and engineering and products. When you run a business, uh, so how do you maintain a focus of creating a, a sense of innovation, incubation for new development areas and new revenue stream? but in the meantime, continue to support and grow existing business. It's constantly a leadership struggle, but in the innovator's dilemma, you know, I constantly draw to my SCP language for, um, for ideas and, and inspirations. SCP give me a lot of good framework, lots of powerful languages to let me think about the business problems that I face today or on an ongoing basis. In the past few years, we've been on this, uh, uh, what we initially consider impossible goal of uh, building a billion dollar business uh, here in, the, in, my, in my team. And we just celebrated that milestone. SEP, I really see it as a great catalyst in the evolutions of myself as a leader. Mm -hmm.